Yeah, I'm very fascinated with kitsch. Pop artists really began a lot of uh, dismantling of the high-low issues in, um, in America. And um, that's, you know, I mean, I sort of think of myself as a conceptual artist, but I also feel a lot of affinity to those guys, the pops. And so this, there's a, a real interest in um, exploring the kitsch and why things are kitsch in my generation. There's a kind of, uh, I think there's gold in the kitsch. You can understand what they say. Um, it's poetry. I mean, um, do you understand poetry? That's the question. Sometimes, I mean, each of my bodies of work, I, I'm a kind of closet writer, so I work on a kind of very specific kind of language for each group of pieces that I make. So if it's a super pop series of kind of, you know, smiley faces or donuts, uh, kind of anthropomorphized blobs came a little bit later and um, that was a kind of space series. So each one, for example, with the suit, what I call the super pop or cute series, I, it just followed a very elaborate kind of poetic script thing that I was working on that was very somber. And so around that time, I, uh, I wanted to do something counter to that, you know, to sort of challenge myself to do something that was very upbeat. I had this idea of kind of working with these forms that were coming out of the early history of uh, sculpture and, and taking off from that, like the Venus of Willendorf, which I guess they no longer call the Venus of Willendorf, but like fertility figures with large eyes or breasts and these kind of very simple forms and kind of relating that to the history of the smiley face and other kind of pop cultural icons. And so I was working with that like okay, you have this cute figures, you know, that in a way are kind of slaves, like pleasure slaves for the viewer. And what do they do? What, how do they talk? Uh, you know, and I was listening to the way people talk to kids and animals and pillow talk. So I thought of those three kind of very embarrassing ways that people speak to a lover, you know, in a jokey kind of private language, to a dog or a baby. And people are, you know, if they hear themselves saying, oh, well, well you know, like, oh, come, come here, you know, like that, they're like, it's like it's hard to listen to, but it's also quite a human bonding thing. And so I listened to a lot of that, and I tried to write all those pieces in that way. So they're, in a way, they're very moronic, at, but, but, but they have a subtle edge to the, uh, to the, to the submoronic uh, humor of it. But that's the idea it, of that one body of work and how they kind of jump a message across to the viewer. So it's a very evolved process, you know.